It's time to meet the team from Regina Central Collegiate. Here's Chris Hesterman, Ian McLaren, Sean Caragata, Herman Thind, and their teacher coach, Gordon Glaycock. And now here's the team from Yorkton Regional High School. Meet Murray Rennie, Gavin McLaren, Mike Adamiak, Dave Palmark, and their teacher coach, Dave McVeigh. Hi, I'm Howard Thornton. Welcome to our Flight 3 Championship game. Before we get today's action underway, let's meet our judge, Peter Smith. And now, here's our quiz master, Sean O'Shea. Thanks, Howard. Well, after several weeks, we're at the Flight 3 Championship game, and everyone's set to go, so we'll start with some short snappers. Which team represented the American Football Conference in the 1985 Super Bowl? Herman. The, uh... Don't know, Yorkton, Mike. Uh, Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins is right. What is the name of the citadel in the center of Moscow? Ian. The Kremlin. Correct. Who wrote the Jungle Book? Mike. Milne? No, Central. Ian McLaren. Rudyard Kipling. Correct. What organization is celebrating its centennial in 1985, proclaiming 100 years of heritage conservation? Uh, Chris. Ducks Unlimited. No, Yorkton, do you know? Good. Mike. Heritage of Scotchman? No, Canada's National Park System. Some history questions now. It happened 307 years ago that a book was published a few months after its author had been released from prison. It told of uh, Mike. Mein Kampf? It told of Christian's allegorical journey from the city of destruction to the celestial city. Central Collegiate, do you know its title? Chris. Pilgrim's Program. That is correct. Who is the author? Who is its author? Ian. Milton. No, Yorkton. Mike. Hass? No, John Bunyan. Bunyan was greatly admired by George Bernard Shaw, who compared him to another outstanding English writer. In fact, Shaw said that Bunyan was better than what? Or who? Ian. Byron. No, Yorkton. Gavin. Milton. Better than Shakespeare. A poor man with no formal education, Bunyan produced a work of lasting genius. The principal character in Pilgrim's Progress is Christian. What is his wife's similar name? Gavin. Christine. No, Central Collegiate. Uh, Herman. Krista. No, Christiana. Question now on mammals. Most mammals are herbivorous. That is, they eat what? Mike. Plants and animals? Correct. No. Uh, no, Central. No, OK, plants is actually the correct answer. What is the most populous order of existing mammals, both the number of species and number of individuals? Gavin. Vertebrata. No, Central Herman. Chordata? No, rodents. Rodents. Name the mammal that lives mostly in the ocean but is also found in such rivers, Gavin. The whale? No, uh, Sean. Otter? No, such rivers as the Amazon and the Ganges, that's the dolphin. Which South American mammal spends most of its life in the treetops, uh, Murray? Three toads to the dolphin. Yeah. The sloth is right. It moves slowly along the underside of branches. Right. Now a chance at 40 points with a who am I question. 40 points if you get it with the first clue. 10 points less for each clue I give. I was born in 1847 in Missouri. I was brought up on a farm. Murray. Mark Twain. No, I was brought up on a farm and during the Civil War I fought unofficially for the Confederacy in a guerrilla band. For 40 points, who am I? Ian. Grant. No. For 30 points, the second clue. At the end of the war, I turned to a life of crime and was declared an outlaw in 1866. Ian, for 30 points. Billy the Kid. No. In 1867, I became leader of my own gang, which specialized in bank robberies and train holdups for Yorkton. Gavin. Dapper Doyle. No. For 20 points now. My exploits were exaggerated and romanticized. Uh, Chris. Jesse James. Jesse James is the right answer for 20 points. All right, now a video question on landscapes. Have a look at your monitors. Listen for the following questions. A uh, Lauren Harris, uh, Chris? Lake Superior. That's right, a Lauren Harris painting, the biggest great lake. Here's our second video question now for you. The artist's first name is John. His second name is the same as what rank in the police force? Ian. Constable. Correct, John's constable. All right, our third uh, video clue for you now. Claude Monet's pastoral scene depicts what major river of northern France? Uh, David. The scene. That's correct. And finally, Goodridge Roberts painted this landscape near what lake in the eastern townships? Mike. St. Clair? Uh, no, Central Ian. Champlain. No, Lake Orford. Now a question on words, and the following word answers all begin with the letters Q-U-A. First question, a state of perplexity, a predicament, or Sean? Quandary. That's right, or dilemma. 
A stanza of four lines, generally Mike. Hot chain? Correct, generally rhyming alternately. An 18th century game played by four persons with Gavin. Quites. No, played by four persons with 40 cards, a square dance for four couples. Also, the music played to such a dance. Central. Uh, Herman. Quattro? Uh, no, the answer there was quadrille. Quadrille. <laughs> And finally, a petty officer who attends to a ship's steering and signals, Ian? Quartermain. No, Yorkton and Gavin. Quartermaster. Quartermaster is the right answer there. Now, the entire next question deals with modern medicine. Humana Hospital Audubon was a scene of dramatic heart surgery in late 1984. Where is the hospital situated, Chris? South America. No, Yorkton? South Mike. Kentucky? Uh, more specific. We need more specific answer there. Lexington. No, Louisville, Kentucky. Who was the surgeon involved, uh, Mike? Bernard. No, involved in the replacement of a human heart with an artificial one, central. That was Dr. William DeVries. Since the first replacement surgery began in 1967, one natural process hampered success. Murray. Rejection. That's right, what natural process? The body's immunity system. Okay, to help combat the rejection process, a new drug was developed in 1980. What was the name of the drug? Mike. Digoxin? No. no. Central Collegiate. Do you know for 10 points? That drug is cyclosporin. One more question on medicine now. According to some experts, heart transplants are not inexpensive in dollars. What do they claim such an operation costs? David. $15,000. No. Central. Ian. $2,000. No. The actual cost in American dollars, 100000 Following question. 10 points and deals with world politics. We have four of them for you. A famous ninth a, fa a most famous 99-year rent-free lease terminates uh, Murray. Hong Kong. Uh, rent-free lease terminates July 1st, 1997. What nations were the signatories, Ian? Britain and China. That's correct. The original lease was for an area known as the New Territories. What city has grown to dominate, Gavin? Hong Kong. That's right. Mercantile trade is the lifeblood of Hong Kong. What is the meaning of the Chinese word Hong? Ian. Store. Yorkton? Gavin. To sell. Means trading house. Trading house. A Portuguese trading enclave is some 60 kilometers west of Hong Kong. What is its name? Ian. Macau. That is correct for 10 points. Now an audio question on themes. School themes are prevalent in the following selections. Identify the title song of each of the song in each case. All right, here's our first song. Paula Notes suggests that there is life. Sean. Adult education. There is life after high school. Right, adult education for 10 points. Our second piece of music now, Rough Trade Song about a schoolgirl crush, John. High School Confidential. That is correct for 10 points. Third piece of music now, a popular 60s movie set in England, Sean. Um, to Serve With Love. To Serve With Love, that's right, sung by Lulu. And finally, theme song from a popular television series, Mike. Welcome back, Hunter. That is correct for 10 points. Now some short snappers. What is the longest river in Asia, Mike? Ural. No. Central Herman. Yangtze. No, the old Irtish. John Denver is a former member of what trio? Ian. The Kingston trio. No. Yorkton? Gavin. The Denver trio. No, the Chad Mitchell trio. Who was the prime minister when Newfoundland became our 10th province, Mike? Sarah. That's right. What is the capital city of Iraq? Mike. So, no, Central. Herman. Baghdad. Correct. And who was the political genius who dominated Germany for nearly three decades of the 19th century? David. Metternich? No. Do you know Central? Herman. Bismarck? Right. That is right. Otto von Bismarck for 10 points. And that brings us to the midway point with Central Collegiate leading 150 points. Yorkton with 110. <laughs> we'll be back with more action on this very close game on Reach for the Top right after this timeout. score, but there's lots of question and answers left. Central Collegiate, 150 points. Yorkton Regional High School in at 100 points. Howard? Well, Sean, we've got some great prizes for students competing on Reach for the Top this year. First of all, there's a $1,000 scholarship to be awarded to this season's provincial champions. And a $500 scholarship to be awarded to the provincial runners-up. At the provincial finals, the three flight winners will be competing for possession of the Reach for the Top trophy and the provincial championship team will win an all-expense-paid trip to Moncton, New Brunswick for the national finals. And now to get our second round underway, back to Quizmaster Sean O'Shea.
Well, this is at the end of uh, flight three, and it's a signed question time now. The word performer begins with the letter P, and so do the last names of the performers we want you to identify. Now, Chris and Murray, you'll have the first two questions to work on. He's best known for his roles in horror movies, especially those written by Edgar Allan uh, Murray. Vincent Price. By Edgar Allan Poe, that's right. He's also a gourmet cook. All right, second question for the two of you. A Hollywood leading man for over 30 years. He starred as MacArthur and also in The Boys of Brazil. Murray. Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck is right. Now over to Ian and Gavin. A versatile leading man. He appeared in Does the Tiger Wear a Necktie and Serpico. Neither of you know Al Pacino. All right, she played Mona in the movie The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Ian. Dolly Parton. That is right. We move to Sean and Mike for the next two questions. He was the first black actor to win a Best Actor, Sean. Sidney Potty. That is right. And born in 1937, she has been seen in a number of movies. You'll perhaps remember her best for her involvement in the TV series, The Bob Newhart Show. Mike. Suzanne Pelachette. That is correct. Now to Herman and David for the final two questions of the assigned questions. He's usually a heavy in films, but lately a nice guy on TV. He was seen in Chattos Island and Dracula. The answer there was Jack Palance. And finally, this actress plays Jennifer Hart in the hit TV series Heart to Heart. The correct answer there was Stephanie Powers. All right, now some famous quotes. Think about these questions. You'll be given a famous quote by a well-known person. Identify the person for 10 points. Quote, genius is 1% inspiration and 90, Chris. Einstein? No, and 99% perspiration. Yorkton, do you know who that is? David. Edison. Thomas Alva Edison is right. Second quote for you. Brevity is the soul of wit. Sean. Which is Polonius and Shakespeare. OK, Shakespeare is the right answer there. Third quote for you. He who can does, he cannot, he who cannot teaches. Who said that? Neither team knows. George Bernard Shaw, the right answer. The final quote for you. The Montreal Olympics can do, can no more have a deficit than a man can have a baby. David. Drapeau. Mayor Jean Drapeau is right. And we go now to a what am I question, a chance at 40 points with the first clue I give. I was first thought of by Leonardo da Vinci who drew Ian. The helicopter. That is right. He drew some early sketches, and that is worth 40 points. Now to a 10-point special teams. You're about to see an anagram. When you properly rearrange the order of the letters in the four words, you'll discover a popular Regina landmark. And we need two clues, or we need two words, actually. Popular Regina landmark. Nobody has an answer? Sean. What's kind of park? Uh, no. Yorkton. Mike. It's kind of creek. No, both of you are wrong. Wascana Center. Wascana Center. Well, now, to some questions on Shakespeare. There's a Shakespearean connection in each of the following. Listen for a question in each case. Mendelssohn's Wedding March is part of the incidental Gavin. Midsummer Night's Dream. That is right, the incidental music composed for what play? All right, here's our second clue. The familiar Green Sleeves is sung in Ralph Vaughan Williams' opera, Sir John in Love. What, what Shakespearean character is Sir John? Gavin. Uh, no, no central. Do we have an answer? John Falstaff. John Falstaff. Okay, third one for you. This singer wants his love to go down in history just like what famous Shakespearean couple, Ian? Romeo and Juliet. That's correct. And finally. You're listening to the funeral march written for what Shakespearean tragedy, Ian? Hamlet. That is correct. Now, the following question deals entirely with current events in the world. A world leader's life was threatened by a bomb placed in luxury resort, uh, Herman. Margaret Thatcher. That is right, late in October 1984. According to reports, who claimed responsibility, Ian? The IRA. Correct. The attack on Thatcher cleverly eluded police bomb squads. What is the most effective means to police, Ian? Dogs. That is right, the use of trained dogs. Strife in Ireland is not the only problem facing Mrs. Thatcher. What is the predominant problem, uh, Ian? The coal miner strike. That is right. And the striking miners are members of the National Union of Mine Workers. Arthur Murray. Scargill. That is right, the leader is Arthur Scargill. All right, let's scramble for five points in this team question. What is the name of the satirical novel by Jonathan Swift, which tells of a man's Gulliver's David? Travels. That is correct. For five points, and the next three questions for York is dealing with Gulliver's Travels. What is the name of the country in which Gulliver finds himself dwarfed by its gigantic inhabitants? Lilyfoot. Yorkton? Lilyfoot. David, that's, uh, no, uh, we were looking for Brobdenag there. Brobdenag. Okay, here's the second question. Gulliver himself feels like a giant when he is shipwrecked and swims to a land where everything else is tiny. 
What is the name of the country? David. 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 That is correct. All right, a third question for you now. The final voyage in the book is to a country inhabited by horses. What do these beings call themselves? David. Karashi? No, they're actually called the Winnenins. The Winnenins. Okay, another 10-point special now, teams. John Dennison, a former Mountie, has a road named after him. It's about 4,800 kilometers long. What is unusual about Dennison's ice road? Ian. It's only open in the winter. That is correct, for 10 points. Now a question on publications. I'll describe a magazine publication. You give me its name. A monthly magazine published in Toronto since 1887. Herman. McLean. No, its current editor is Robert Fulford. Yorkton, do you know? Reader's Digest. Reader's Digest. No, the publication is Saturday Night. Second question. A music and general interest magazine with a title derived from a 1954 Gavin. Rolling Stones. 1954 Muddy Waters song, right. This morning's newspaper bills, this morning newspaper rather, bills itself as Canada's National, Ian. The Globe and Mail. Canada's National Newspaper, right. And the last question on this sequence. Begun in New York in 1955, this publication was the prototype of the anti-David. Time? The anti-establishment underground newspaper, Sean. Mother Jones? No, that is the Village Voice. Now to a question on thunderstorms. A thunderstorm is a short-lived storm produced by clouds of great vertical extent and always Chris? Cumulus? No, and always accompanied by what two things? Thunder. David. Thunder and lightning. That is right. Thunderstorms generally occur in air that is cool and moist, warm and moist, or warm and dry. Ian? Warm and dry. No. Yorkton? Gavin. Warm and moist. Warm and moist is right. Which common phenomenon of thunderstorms in our latitude, uh, Gavin? Lightning? No. In our latitude, although lasting only a short time, does tremendous damage in hail. That is correct. And at one time, it was common to classify thunderstorms according to where they occurred. For example, as air mass, frontal, or orographic thunderstorms. What influences an orographic thunderstorm? Mike. The mountains. Right. That is right. Influenced by the presence of mountains. Now a 10-point special on uh, take a good look at the fractions on your monitors. Pick up your pencils, and the first to come up with the right answer wins 10 points. Gavin. Negative 3 eighteenths? No. Central Herman. 10 eighteenths. No, the answer there was 4 eighteenths or 2 ninths. Would have accepted either on that. <laughs> All right, our English language is alive, constantly adding new words. The following word definitions would not be found in your parents' dictionaries, but they are in yours. Can you tell me the word from its definitions and the first letter? Okay. This is a noun meaning a pimple, especially on the face. Gavin? A zit. That's, That's right. Zit. Another noun, it begins with N and means a contemptibly dull, ineffective Gavin. Nerd. An ineffective person, that is right. This one, beginning with the letter B, means a display of nude or partially clad muscular men. Sean. Body? No. What is this noun, Yorkton? Nobody knows. Beefcake. Beefcake. <laughs> and finally, which noun, beginning with S, means a jail or prison? Ian. Slammer. That is correct for 10 points. Now a scramble, a team question. What country is bordered on the north by Turkey, on the south by Saudi Arabia, and on the east by Iran? Herman. Syria. No. Yorkton. Murray. Iraq. Iraq is right for five points. And Yorkton, you'll have the next four questions all dealing with Iraq. What is the monetary unit of Iraq? Rial. Rial. Murray. No. no, it's the dinar. Modern Iraq is roughly equivalent in area to what ancient region referred to as the cradle of civilization? Mesopotamia. Murray. Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia is right. Well, Mesopotamia is a Greek name meaning between rivers. What are these two rivers? Tigris and Euphrates. Tigris Murray. and Euphrates. That is right. <laughs> now, what is the name of the nomadic pastoral people who inhabit Iraq and who have been struggling for centuries for autonomy? Shiites? Murray. Shiites? No, the answer there is Kurds. Another 10-point special teams. Aurelia is associated with a wit and a singer. One was born there in 1939. The other lived there for a number of years. While, there were, while they were popular in widely separated periods, Mike. Stephen Leacock? While they were popular in widely separated periods, their names are well known today. Their surnames begin with the same letter. Who is the singer and who is the wit? Central? We were looking for Stephen Leacock and Gordon Lightfoot. Now, a local question on Northern Ontario. Timmins is the center of what mining region, Mike? Asbestos. No, Central? Ian. Algoma. No, answer is Porcupine. The Ontario Northland Railway connects Cochrane to what northern isolated village? 
Mike. Coppice Casing? No, Central. Ian? Red Lake. No, Moosonee. What is the name of the railway's excursion trip that travels through wilderness country to Moosonee? David. The, the Polar Bear Express. The Moosonee and back, correct. Moosonee is 24 kilometers up the Moose River from what bay? Mike. Hudson? No, Central. Ian? James. Correct. Another rich mining town in northeastern Ontario is Kirkland Lake. Its mines produce one mine. Uranium. No, one-fifth of Canada's output of what metal? Ian? Tin. Oh, the metal there was gold. Here's a question now on quotations. A Canadian-born, uh, who spoke the following memorable lines, first of all? A Canadian-born man who found success with the English newspapers and who professed, quote, my principle is take a trick while you can and go on with the game. Mike. Pierre Bird. No. Central. Ian. Gordon Sinclair. Lord Beaverbrook, the answer there. The strong-willed monarch of the 16th century who said, quote, I know I have the body of a weak and feeble woman, but I have the heart, Murray. Elizabeth I. That is correct. A famous Hollywood figure who died in 1969 and who said, quote, if I'm such a legend, we don't have time for that, we'll go straight to the snappers. Which science fiction work, the first of a series, did novelist Frank Herbert publish, uh, Dune. Murray? Dune. Correct. Which English physicist discovered how blood circulates in the human body, David? Jenner. No. Central Collegiate. Ian. Newton. No, Sir William Harvey. In the 50s, which television situation comedy featured Jackie Gleason and uh, Murray? That's right. In Genesis, whose wife looked back at the burning cities? Uh, Chris? Adam. No, of uh, Murray. Lot. Lot is right. In which year did the American Civil War end? Ian. 1862. No, York and Murray. 1865. Correct. Which city hosted the 23rd Summer Olympic Games? Ian. Montreal. No, Yorkton. Mike. Los Angeles. Correct. Which American inventor designed and manufactured a railway sleeping car in the 1860s, Chris? Pullman. Correct. The song Moonlight Serenade was the theme song of what dance band popular Murray? Sedaka. No popular in the 40s, Chris? Benny Goodman. No Glenn Miller Orchestra. What nationality was Sigmund Freud? Ian. German. No, Yorkton. Mike. Swiss. No, he was Austrian. Who assassinated Abraham Lincoln? Mike. James Old Booth. Uh, no. Central Collegiate, Chris. John Wilkes Booth. Right. Correct. Who was the head coach of hockey of Team Canada in 1972? Mike. Cinder. Don't know. Cin uh, Central? Cinder. No. no, nobody knows. Sinden, Harry Sinden. What is the letter symbol for tungsten? Murray. W. Right. What is the national capital of Lebanon? Ian. Beirut. Correct. Who won the Great Cup in 1984? Mike. BC Lions. No. no. Central. Ian. Toronto Argonauts. No, Winnipeg. Who recorded the hit single 1999? Murray. Don't know Central. Herman. Prince. Right. Who what treaty ended the Seven Years' War? Mike. Paris. Right. In 1818, Chile declared its independence from what country? Ian. It's Portugal. No. Yorkton. Gavin. Paraguay. No, Spain. What is the birthstone for the month of May? Murray. Don't know. Central. Sean. Diamond. No, Emerald. In which of Canada's national parks would you find Takaga Falls? Ian. Yoho. Right. Who is the duet partner of Julio Julio, Julio Iglesias? Uh, Ian. Diana Ross. Right. And that's all the time we have. Very, very close game today. And it looks like uh, unofficially the score is Central Collegiate, 390. Yorkton Regional High School with 360 points. Well, they don't come any closer to that than that. We'll give Judge Peter Smith a chance to verify the score, and we'll be right back. Uh, Sean, a famous uh, British statesman claimed that his mother taught him that if at first you don't succeed, then try, try, try again. And that's what Central has done. They, these two teams have met the last three years, counting this year in this final. This time, Central has won. So they did try again. They did win. Congratulations, Central, and congratulations, York. An incredible game. Very exciting game, and congratulations to Central Collegiate. Chris Nesterman, Ian McLaren, Sean Carragata, and Herman Thind. And from Yorkton Regional High School, Murray Rennie, Gavin McLaren, Mike Adamiak, and David Palmark. You all played well on this edition of Reach for the Top. And our congratulations going out once again to Regina Central Collegiate. You'll be returning to participate in our Reach for the Top Provincial Championships, which begin next week. I hope we'll see you then. Now for Quizmaster Sean O'Shea, Judge Peter Smith, I'm Howard Thornton. Bye-bye for now.